on this week's episode of The Upload Show, the exclusive interview with Dr. Benjamin Chavis, CEO and co-founder of the Hip Hop Summit Action Network. But first, this week's Hidden Gem. Yolanda and Danielle, hello again. Welcome back to uh, Hidden Gems. We're at a very, very well-kept secret here in LA. Uh, it's a wonderful place in the middle of the theater district called Cafe Muse. It has a cool atmosphere, they have open mic, they have live music sometimes. It's a vegan and vegetarian place, so if you eat meat, you can still come here and enjoy the food, but they're not going to have meat. Um, it's a fantastic place, so let's go inside and check it out. The cool thing about Cafe Muse that I want you guys to know is that most people uh, who come here aren't even vegetarians or vegans because the meat substitute that they have is so delicious that you can be a vegan or not and eat it, or a vegetarian or not, and still enjoy it. Um, right near, right now, I have a taste test sample. I'm an avid anti-vegetarian, and uh, we have a wrap, a vegetarian wrap here, a tofu wrap, along with the, the famous sweet potato pies, sweet potato pie fries that we got going on here. Um, and I'm just going to take a bite and tell you, tell you what's going on. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Delicious. Fantastic. Wonderful. And the fries are even better, too. The fries are good, too. I really love this job, you guys, because I get to go around and eat in LA, and it's happy. I make people happy, people make me happy. I'm just happy with it. I'm, I'm so happy about it. So thank you guys for this. Come down, Cafe Muse, any day of the week. Good atmosphere, really nice service, good people, good food. See you guys. Civil rights activist Dr. Benjamin Chavis is the CEO and co-founder of the Hip Hop Summit Action Network. He was the director of the Million Man March, and he is currently the subject of the award-winning movie Blood Done Sign My Name. Let's kick off this exclusive interview with an ear to the street question from one of our viewers. I saw the movie Blood Done Sign My Name at a Pan-African uh, film festival here in LA a while back. I was inspired by the film, and I know it's based on a true story. I was wondering. Um, based on how Hollywood is, they like to throw extras in there to beef it up. I want to know, is there any parts in the movie that were, uh, you know, done extra for dramatic effect? Or is everything in the movie really how it occurred? Well, Blood Done Sign My Name is a true uh, story. It's based on a book uh, about my hometown of Oxford, North Carolina. And um, a lot of times, you know, uh, Hollywood directors will take liberties uh, to either sensationalize or to distract. But I have to say that Jeb Stewart did an excellent job directing this movie. Mm -hmm. And my man Nate Parker, who plays me in the movie, uh, did an excellent job. So it's not only a true story, it's an accurate story. The setting is 1970, where one of my high school classmates and a, a black Vietnam veteran just home visiting was murdered by three white men. and. There was no justice done in the case. So I was only 22 years old at the time, but I had to make sure that we organized a protest and not allow his murder uh, to be in vain. For those that don't know, you know that you co-founded the Hip Hop Summit, and it's one of the most inspirational, one of the best things out. And we really wanted to know a little bit more about it. Tell our viewers about it and how it got started and how it came about. 10 years ago, Russell Simmons and I co-founded the Hip Hop Summit Action Network. And over the last 10 years, we've grown now. We're the world's largest coalition of hip hop artists and recording industry executives. I've known Russell for over 20 years. And about 10 years ago, uh, this is while there still was some east-west conflict between some of the uh, uh, rappers, some of the hip hop artists, mm -hmm. we decided to call a three-day summit meeting in New York. And that meeting was very, very successful. We had artists from the West Coast, the East Coast, uh, down South, the Midwest, from all regions of the country. And for three days, we decided that, you know, there's so many player haters against hip hop, we needed to unify and to not only to defend the culture, but to make clear that hip hop overall has a very positive impact on our society and our world. The, the theme of the Hip Hop Summit Action Network is taking back responsibility. And I have to say, to the artist's credit, that's a, that's a thing that they came up with. The Recording Industry Association of America, the RIAA, did a study, and it showed that of all genres of music, hip-hop artists give back to their communities more than any other genre of music. 
and a lot of people don't know that. 99% of all the hip-hop artists have a positive impact back in the communities in which they emerge from. And the Hip Hop Summit Action Network is designed to help that. What makes you so passionate about it? You know, yeah. a lot of people are just kind of like... Oh, whatever. Uh, they walk a yeah. fine line, and a lot of people jump on the negative well, you know, side. I'm, you know, I've been in the Civil Rights Movement a lot, oh, oh, God, 50 years, but in terms of hip hop, I'm an OG. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I defend the culture. And I believe that today's youth are the most creative, the most talented, the most gifted generation of young people that we've ever been blessed uh, to witness. But our young people today need encouragement. Yeah. Like I said, there's so many player haters <laughs> out there on the culture. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I, I caution Bill Cosby and others who are yeah. always pointing a finger at hip-hop. Yeah. I, I think yeah. our young people need to be encouraged, mm -hmm. not put down. You know, hip-hop is like a mirror image. It reflects the social condition of our people. We want to change the social condition. Well, Dr. Chavis, I mean, you've got a B.A. in chemistry, a Ph.D., a, d a degree in divinity. You're a very well-rounded person, and you're an author, and you're a producer. I mean, you've well, accomplished... You know, I'm being diverse, you know. I, I, <laughs> and I know a lot, of, a lot of brothers and sisters who watch this program are trying to get into the industry, and I yeah. encourage them. But, you know, you want to have a diversity of talent. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, I started out as a chemist, a trained scientist. But I, I uh, fell in love with what Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was doing, so I went back to school to study philosophy and religion. So there's a long list of things, but I see all these things are interconnected. That's why I was so pleased to work with Russell to start the yeah. Hip Hop Summit Action Network, because it's also my way of giving back. I always want to help artists mm -hmm. uh, achieve their fulfillment in life. So we know you've had all of these projects, and... You know, I'm sure you've gone through many ups and downs throughout the way, and we all know that sometimes people's number one fear is actually failing. What did you do to cope in those moments? Like, how did you move past that? Trial and tribulation are for purification. Mm -hmm. So when you, when you have a stumble, or you have to get back up, yes. or if you fail at something, you, you don't let that crush you. I yeah. think the biggest problem, and I hope all the young brothers and sisters listen to this, the biggest problem that we have we let some difficulty or some problem or, 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 or some failure even cause our spirits to get broken. Mm -hmm. Never let anything break your spirit. You're going to have disappointment in life. Mm -hmm. You may even have some failures. But that should strengthen you, mm -hmm. not make you weaker. Absolutely. You should be stronger. Adversity, and, and look at all the adversity that black people have been through. We should be the strongest people that's, in the that's, world. Mm -hmm. that's all right. the stuff that we've already yes. been through. That's yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? What would you say your three ingredients to success are? Um, number one, preparation. Whatever you try to get involved in, prepare yourself. Number two, believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, no one else is going to believe in you more than you believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. Believing in yourself also means having humility. Believing in yourself means uh, uh, finding what your strengths are. I tell artists all the time, don't try to be like another artist. I tell the rappers all the time, they try to sometimes imitate somebody who's successful. The world is not looking for imitation. And then lastly, have a faith in something other than yourself. Mm -hmm. I believe in God. Yeah. I believe in the Creator. Take your with me, I'm about to ride up through these streets We're not gonna sleep for 12 weeks Just another day in the city And I'ma take your with me when there's so much you need to see Point like I'm running the one, kicking it for a hundred days of fun in the sun, and it's wonderful, it's perfect, it's flawless. We doing it every June, July, August, all day, air day for the summer. The girls be showing how they be fine in the mother. When pretty chicks got their legs and toes out, my game's like Derek pulling a rose out. From the circus to the carnival, family reunion and the barbecue. From the mall to the park, playing ball in the dark, painting a masterpiece, and we calling it art. So look at here, a matter of fact. Look at that When everybody in the drop Got the top back Then let's ride out Here we go I make it look like It's nothing but a G thing